say cheese. Cheese. There we go, man. Hey, Rich, before you leave for the day, can I buy a couple of those from you? Boom, he got that on the mice tail. Yep. Makes them awesome. off his custom, custom mice tail. So how can we find his mice tails? Oh, I guess I got to start making them now. <laughs> Did you get him on, John? Mice tail. Yeah, mice tail. All right, let's yep. get him on the scale. Rich, what's your last name, man? S-W-I-C-K. 6.75. Yeah, he weighed more on the other scale. It's official now. How much? Right. Six seven five. That's about two pounds. Hey, Bob. Uh, you got the spot. You got it. Check out these rafts coming soon. And these little bad boys are currently out. You guys seen these in my videos. Up at the feather raft tent. Behind the boat over there, I got two more feather rafts set up for demos. Nice. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Extreme Rafting. Today, we're going to be out here at Lake Amador with a trout tournament. Got a booth set up with a couple of rafts for demo. We're going to get some anglers out on the water, see what's going on. Good morning, everybody. Trout Threaded Adventures. We got Mackie B Outdoors out here with Feather Raft. Uh, and we're taking in a registration right now as we speak. We're going to be barbecuing. We're going to be doing some demonstrations on the Feather Raft. And it's going down. So you guys stay tuned. Come on. Ryder. Hey, Ryder, come on. Steve Marie Last name, Peterson. Peterson. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. What are we looking at, Ryder? Ooh. 4.90. Right. Let's lift it up one more time and then put it back in one more time. No. Nope. No. Yeah, well, that one has a couple split shots down his belly. Yeah. <laughs> just say. Excuse me, everybody. Can I have your attention, please? My name is Mac. I'm with Full Face Creations. We're out here. This year, we're going to be sponsoring Red Hook Adventures, and you guys is anger of the year. We are going to be giving away a feather app. It's not going to be this one. It's not going to say Base Bass Brigade. Chances are it might even say anger of the year on the side. We're going to put some extra rod holders and a pack on the deck for you guys. And we're going to be coming to every event. We're going to be offering demos. Next event, we're hoping to have about six or seven rafts out here, filled them with the motors, so you guys can get out on the water and go check them out. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys out here. All right. Hey, so hey, everybody, he has a lot of demonstration videos on YouTube. In the last year, his YouTube channel, he's been really taking off, providing you guys with tons of content as he's fishing on these things every day. And he's showing you guys examples of him uh, literally standing on the edges, uh, jumping up and down. He's showing you examples of different weather conditions because all these questions will come up in your head. Well, what happens if it's windy? What happens if it's choppy? Well, if you follow Mackie B Outdoors online, you'll be able to see these different demonstrations. Um, uh, let's give them a round of applause, everybody. All right, so everyone, Right now, it's group Say pitcher cheese. time. Cheese! I cut these off, right? Yeah. Uh, I felt like I got cheated a little bit this year. That's why we're back in Amador in May. It's something I didn't want. I actually wanted to end off the tournament in the East Bay. Um, but because, uh, uh, because of that situation, it's almost forced me to think about May, uh, November. So as a lot of lakes are closing, uh, I'm almost thinking about Comanche. Um, being the destination for our November championship for for trout. Now I want you guys to remember some. If you guys have a one pound fish somewhere in the top ten in any of my tournaments, you go to November and catch a nine pounder, you might have a shot. 
So don't ever count out, you know, don't ever disqualify yourself. When I used to be blazing the trail as a tournament angler, I wasn't always the guy winning every single tournament. But I was the one chipping away every tournament to accumulate enough weight so that I could win the angler of the year. And that's how I used to do it. So remember, I've seen guys that will get to like where they're, for example, they'll get to like where, you know, they miss a tournament and, and by one pound or less, 0.5, they could have won the whole thing if they could, if they would have just went to that one tournament, caught one little fish. And, they, and, and it's because they, they felt like, oh, this ain't adding up, but it does. And for everybody that's been coming out, um, I'm going to be putting out a list of the actual top 10 of all the events for 2019. So that way we can lead into summer with an idea of who the top 10 is. And then what I'll probably do is uh, I'm going to get a sense, like a, an idea of how many anglers are actually want to show up. Uh, and I'll reach out to everybody. So I hope you guys gave us your address, your email address, because what I'd like to do is I like to send you guys um, emails concerning future dates, or even if I have a survey or a question, uh, just to get your um, your input because it really, really helps. Uh, your input really helps on what we do in the future because I don't want to, let's say for example, I say, yay, we're going to Comanche, and none of y'all like Comanche. I don't know that, right? So what happens, I asked about 80% of you, I get yeses, guess what, we're going to Comanche. So um, just keep in mind that when we're battling for Angler of the Year, and as we got a new sponsor now with Feather Rat, our relationship is gonna continue, not just this year. This is just an introduction to what we're gonna do. We're hoping that we all can grow together. And most importantly, we're trying to get it to where this platform is gonna be able to provide a Feather Rat um, as, as much as we can uh, to anglers, uh, even if we uh, get it to the level where it's at every tournament, somebody's winning one. And then you get uh, the customized one, let's say for Angler of the Year, at, with the Angler of the Year jacket. So just because somebody, uh, you know you might not win Angler of the Year, I'm still asking for your support because uh, we are self-sustaining community. All of us together are making this happen. Absolutely. We're just kind of like the middleman. We're just out here trying to make this happen for you guys and your kids and the families by providing the barbecue, by providing these awesome prizes. And I can almost guarantee you, I don't care what tournament trout platform you fish, those guys don't pay a higher percentage than we do. Mark my words. Let me interject okay. real quick, real quick. Pat gave out a thank you to everybody. Can we thank Pat, please? Uh, okay. Yeah. Let me add to that. Let me add to that. Let me add to that. I specifically want to say this. Let me give you integrity. Larry Valderrama, you won two months ago, am I right? They forgot to give you a boat rental and a camping rental, right? What did they do? They came and brought it to you. That's integrity. That's integrity. That's somebody who won something, and they took it to him. Come on, man. How can you not support that? I could have just that's said how, whatever. That's, that's integrity. Whatever. That's what we're trying to build on. Yeah, he's going to get Again, I just wanted to say thank you, Pat. Thank that's you. all. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. I do this for you guys. I really do, man. Um, to, when you're passionate about something, you, you put other people first. Absolutely. And, and that's the most important thing for me, man. This ain't, this ain't about me. And I always tell people when I'm pitching my stories or my life or whatever, my testimony. Um, I'm trying to do something in my life that's bigger than me. And I can't do that without you guys. So thank you guys again. Give them the loudest hand you've ever given. Give those kids a hand. Yeah, yeah. All right, Anaya and Ryder, come on up. Hey, hey. Come on up, Ryder. Come on up here. Huh? Come on. All right. You got prizes coming. We got Anaya Tinsley here. She caught a 2.65 rainbow yeah. trout. Yeah. 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 yeah! Bam! And then we got Team RHA Youth Angler Ryder Peterson with a 4.90. Right. Yeah. 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 Good job, man. All right. You're fine. You're just fine. This right here, a new bowl, that. and a trophy. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Nice.
Go ahead. First place. Okay. Yes, Ryder. Alright, 
788-140, going out to the Procure, Procure, 788-140. Seven eight eight one four zero. Pink ticket. Pink ticket. Seven eight eight one four zero. Going once. Do you have red tickets? Seven eight eight one four zero. Going twice. Is this a free ticket? Yeah. It is, huh? Yeah. They didn't come in. Yeah, the pink ones are giving out. Hey, that goes to show you though, like they're free tickets, man. Never know. <laughs> oh yeah, they didn't catch a fish, so yeah. Yeah. The little guy that won last time wanted on a free ticket. So we go junior? Not yeah. Nine nine zero seven seven eight. I got it. Ah. There you go. That's the increase the size of your fish. Shots in the cast, master. Oh. Cast master. Cast master. Nine, nine, zero, six, seven, eight. Oh. Right here. Ah. You guys could use this, too. Oh, my gosh. He got like 100. Cordy likes to follow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got, it's crappy season, everybody. Oh, yeah. With the little Cleo here, which is one of my favorites, personally. Nine nine zero six three five. Angel. Nine nine zero six three five. I don't know if you guys know or not, but this guy comes in, he wins first place at our last event, and then what does he do? He goes the very next week and wins first place at the Fish Snippers event. Give yeah. <laughs> yeah, him a hand for that one, man. That was <laughs> We got 600 hooks in here. Ooh. Of 10 different sizes. 600 what hooks. What kind of hooks? I don't know. 990726. Nine nine zero seven two six. Oh, not even on it. Guaranteed. Nine nine zero seven two six. This will catch fish here. This silver and blue little Cleo. Guaranteed. What's the weights? Nine nine zero seven three seven. All right. Yeah, man. Eight zero six. All right. Nine nine zero seven four four. guys know my wife loves to buy these for you guys it's her thing we buy these in hopes that you guys put your power bait in here man purse. you can just carry around your little power bait boom man purse you know what I'm saying? your beer can go in there i mean hey you know nine nine zero seven one one seven one one
everybody. So we have the upcoming salmon season dropping on us in a couple months here in the river system. And when you're in the river system, if you actually get out there, you'll see a lot of these guides in the Sac River up towards American, Freeport, Discovery Park, jigging. They'll be jigging feline laser minnows like this. Uh, and if you guys have never done it, that's pretty fun. If you also want to use this universally, these are great for stripers or any kind of shad. Striper, or trout. Yeah, they'll put the, um, anything bass. can bite these things. They're pretty good. And they're, and they're good because you can cast them heck of far in the surf, too. So I'll be giving out a lot of these uh, over the next few tournaments. 990-730. 990730. He's on fire today. Okay. Shake it up, Chicago. Shake it up. Alright, who's going crabbing? Is it even crab season still? Until June, I think. Nine nine zero seven three six. Come get your magic, magic thread. Ah, oh, look at him. He's on fire. Hey, hey, are your calf muscles burning yet from walking back and forth? All right, who's next? Angel. Seven eight eight one four six pink ticket. Seven eight eight one four six. Seven eight eight one four six. Pink ticket. Yeah. Seven eight eight one four six going once. I mean, it's only like a seven dollar lure. You got it. <laughs> Look, he just said angel. We got the uh, Solomon Rainbow. Nine nine zero seven six nine. No seven. Nine nine zero seven six nine. beverage bag here. Ooh. Oh, I got that last time. <laughs> you got one of these last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 990609. Got it. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Look at that. Now you got two of them.
This thing keeps on falling off. Seven, eight, eight, one, four, one. Seven, eight, eight, one, four, one. I'm not getting any look on the pink tickets. We had that. We had that the Oh yeah. Seven, eight, eight, one, four, one. Four, what?
I've been getting by for a change. I rock a smile, cause I'm happy now. I've made it through them waves, escape from them days. No more dogs gonna phase my path. The purpose lays in shame, so I'ma get it scraping. Self educated to shake, make what I take from these lessons I've gained. Life's forever changing. That's why I always smile when I awake to a new day. Knowing that I'ma be the next one in line, give everything to a die. Knowing that I'm gonna strive to defeat.